Hello, and welcome to A Gross of Physics. Today is day 14. And today I'd like to look at problems where the object starts at a higher point and ends at a lower point. It'll still move through the gravitational field of the Earth, possibly being tossed upward first and then landing at a lower position. Um, on the other hand, it could be an object that is thrown downward and lands again at a lower position. In each of these cases, the displacement of the object will be negative because it starts um, higher than it ends up. And in the XY coordinate system, we consider the Y axis to be positive on the way up and negative on the way down. So if an object starts higher than it ends, it will have a negative displacement. So let's look at some problems where an object is tossed upward and then lands lower than where it started. All right, a person is going to throw a golf ball down off a bridge that kind of looks like an arc in this case. And we want to know how long will it take, how long will it be in the air, and how fast will it hit the water below. Now, the one thing they give you is a 7 meter per second speed, but the key is that it's a downward speed. So speed is a scalar. But when we add the downward, it's going to become our vector that we'll plug in for initial velocity, which is negative 7 meters per second. The displacement is a negative 15. It's going to move downward. Although the bridge is going to be listed with a height, a positive height, the displacement of the golf ball is going to be negative 15. Now the other information is that we're on the Earth's surface, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. We want to find two things in this problem. We want to find how long and how fast. So T and VF. Now looking at the information we have, we're going to use D equals VIT plus one half AT squared. And when we do that, negative 15 equals negative 7 t plus one half minus 9.8 t squared. This is shaping up to be a quadratic again. Negative 15 equals negative 7 t minus 4.9 t squared. So, let's see what we can do here. If we rearrange, we'll get negative 7t minus 4.9t squared plus 15 equals 0. Now what I'm going to do is use my quadratic solver. t equals negative 2.604 or t equals 1.176 seconds. I'll eliminate the negative and I'll be left with the positive root. Now to find VF, I would use equation 5. VF squared minus VI squared equals 2AD. VF is what I'm looking for. Minus negative 7 meters per second squared to negative 9.8 meters per second squared, negative 15 meters. A lot of negatives in this problem. So VF, the minus is outside the parentheses, but when I square the 7, I'll get 49. 2 times 9.8 times 15, I'm going to get 294. And since the two negatives are involved, that'll become a positive. Now that's important because what I need to do, and I forgot to bring the squares down here, I need to add the 49 to the 294. So I'm going to say plus 49. So 294 plus 49. I'm going to get 343 and then take the square root of that. And the square root yields 18.52. So my final velocity should be the negative root of that negative 18.52 meters per second.
and that's how fast it will hit the water. All right, in this problem, a person is going to toss a penny into a wishing well. They flick the penny off of their hand with an upward velocity of 4 meters per second. So I'm going to start with my Givens list, VI, 4 meters per second. The penny is in the air for 1.2 seconds. T is 1.2 seconds. And even though it's in the well here, it's still in the air until it hits the water at the bottom. How far below the release point is the well? So the acceleration, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And what I want to do is find D. Now, this is equation four. D equals VIT plus one half AT squared. D equals four meters per second times 1.2 seconds plus one half, negative 9.8 meters per second squared, 1.2 seconds squared. Don't forget the squared. Now all we need to do is make sure we keep our terms orderly. We're going to have two terms here. One's going to be positive, one's going to be negative from the looks of it. Four times 1.2 is 4.8. Should have done that in my head minus 0.5 times 9.8 times 1.2 squared, 7.056. And when I do 7.056 from 4.8, I end up getting a displacement of negative 2.256 meters. So it is 2.256 meters below the release point. Although the object moved upward first and then down into the well, the vector equations take care of all the nuances. We don't have to worry about the fact that it went up first. As long as we put our initial velocity as a positive, all the numbers work out because of the vector nature of these equations.